Hello and welcome to the session. In this session we discuss the following question which says two circles touch each other internally at point P. QPR is the tangent at P. Segments PAB and PCB meet circles at A, B, C and D. As shown in the figure, this is the figure. Show that chord AC is parallel to chord BD. Let us first discuss the alternate segment property. According to this we have if a straight line touches a circle and from the point of contact a chord is drawn the angles between the tangent and the chord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segment. This is the key idea that we use for this question. Let's proceed with the solution now. This is the figure in which we have that the two circles touch each other internally. Then we are also given that QPR is the tangent at the point P. And where we have segment PAB meets the two circles at the points A and B and the segment PCD meet the two circles at the points C and D. And we are supposed to prove that AC is parallel to BD. Now, for this normal circle, QPR is the tangent and PA is the chord from the point of contact P, that is this point. And from the alternate segment property we have that if a straight line touches the circle and from the point of contact a chord is drawn then the angles between the tangent and the chord are respectively equal to the angles in the alternate segment. So since this is the tangent and this is the chord so the angle between the tangent and the chord that is this angle would be equal to the angle in the alternate segment that is this angle. So we have angle QPA is equal to angle ACP let this be result 1 and this is using the alternate segment property. Now we consider the bigger circle so for the bigger circle QPR is the tangent to the circle and PB 
is the cord from the point of contact P. And so, therefore, angle between the tangent and the cord PB, that is, this angle would be equal to, that is, angle QPB would be equal to the angle in the alternate segment, which is angle PDB. Let this be result 2, and this is also using the alternate segment property. Now, angle QPA and angle QPB are same. That is, these two angles are same. Therefore, we say from 1 and 2, we have angle ACP is equal to angle PDB. Since angle QPA is equal to angle QPB. And from the figure we observe that these two angles are the corresponding angles. And we know when two lines are intersected by a transversal such that the corresponding angles are equal then the two lines are parallel. Now as these two angles are the corresponding angles and they are equal, therefore AC is parallel to BD. And this is what we were supposed to prove so, hence proved. This completes the session. Hope you have understood the solution of this question.